Hey guys, so we are going to be trying a week of a Mediterranean diet. Um, I'm nervous. Let me give you a little background story. So my whole family is doing it and pretty much we're going to be fasting today. So there's no alcohol, no coffee and it's a really low carb diet. Um, today, from my understanding, I'm having a protein shake and I think it's like... Um, a boiled egg and broccolini for lunch so I can't wait this is gonna be a journey so honestly my thoughts on it is I'm kind of fine with it because I eat a lot of vegetables anyway because I'm obviously vegetarian but I do like my bread and my pasta and coffee so we're doing two days of fasting and then the other days are just gonna be like low carb so I'm really interested to see like how everyone will go and obviously you can't snack so I'm really craving like a coffee and an avocado toast but no, I'm gonna do it. So, I mean, ugh. So don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and let's get into it. I'm kind of excited for this protein smoothie. Mm, here we go. First uh, meal of the day, super excited. What, what's this? That's what's taste. Oh, it's vanilla. It should be nice. Something just tastes off about it. Oh, it's the aftertaste. It tastes like shit. Yes. Do you think there's like ginger or something in this? No. There's something just, is it like apple? So there is something in here that's just not right. Okay. I think it's the Greek yogurt. I don't like. Um, it's currently 12.30 and I'm not hungry but I have a headache. I think it's because I haven't had coffee. And all I can taste is that horrible smoothie in my mouth and it's disgusting. So can't wait for my boiled egg. I'm not mad, I'm just disappointed. Like that is not lunch to me, that's a snack. Happy fasting! To be honest, I have such a big headache. I think it's because like no coffee. I've had a lot of water. Um, but yeah, I mean, Mediterranean diets are a lot. Oh, this is how I feel. You know when you're just super, um, delusional and like you feel like your brain is just so out of time with your body that's why okay so i just finished a workout um i'm 100 percent not pregnant but for some reason i just have an awful sense of smell i don't know it's because like the lack of food but it's not my game right okay guys so we just had dinner um and i had black beans and stir fry so heaps of veggies bok choy red pepper um and dinner was really nice i think my issue was today one it was fasting today and two i didn't like the smoothie so i didn't have breakfast and then i was kind of hungry the whole day and i've noticed like i had a headache throughout the day and at first i thought it was from caffeine but i think it's because i haven't like had any sugar and your body like relies on that sort of thing after a while like if you have it consistently like i wasn't snacking on like sugary biscuits or anything like that so yeah i mean fasting day one was pretty good i wouldn't want to do it every day but i mean it's not the worst and now i have a little digestive tea um, and it's boiling hot so I'm probably going to burn my mouth but I'm so excited just for like a little bit of sweetness like mm. yes so tomorrow um, it's just like a low carb day from my understanding we're having like another smoothie hopefully it's not awful and then I think like a salad sort of for lunch and dinner so no pasta for me I'm really nervous to have a tea before bed because my blood is weak, um, but I'm craving sugar so much, so, oh my god. Fasting and throughout the whole week you're not allowed to have any snacks, so it's no like fruit, 
no nothing like you're meant to fast so okay guys today is day two it is not a fasting day thank god but it's low carb so for breakfast i am having a protein shake it is i think it's like vanilla flavor um so it's just ice and the powder so yeah it actually let's see if it tastes nice that lid's annoying um that tastes really good so much better than the smoothie yesterday so very excited doing some work outside it's now um 12 40 and i'm not really hungry so i'm kind of happy about that I don't normally eat tuna but I was gonna have it because I'm dieting and I want every last bit of food so yeah. Um I really want a snack like a biscuit, some cheese and biscuit, raspberries, an apple. But no. No, I'm just gonna have to wait till dinner. I couldn't not have anything. Um I don't know if they're part of a med train diet, but it's better than having like a biscuit, so filmed a lot today but I just wanted to say quickly um the salad was like olives feta tomato lettuce um red vine vinegar um dressing and we added tuna I usually don't have tuna like often but um yeah I was just gonna add it in today I don't mind having tuna every now and then but it's probably not something that I would eat all the time but since I'm doing this diet you best believe I'm gonna eat it um, and the raspberries were phenom. Probably wasn't meant to have them, but oh well. And now I think we're having another salad or something for dinner. So today's been not too bad. For dinner, we had quinoa and salad, and the rest of the family had um, chicken. But here's my jackfruit and beans, and it was honestly bomb. Like jackfruit, you guys need to try it if you're vegetarian. It is so good. I have my little digestive tea that is really heavy. I'm like burning my head. Um, but yeah, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Protein smoothie. Mm, I think this is vanilla. It actually doesn't taste that bad. I'm meant to be studying, but I can't. I really want a coffee and a cookie, but I can't. So I just had some leftover salad with feta, olives, lettuce, cucumber, tomato, and there's my barbecue jackfruit. It is so good. You have to try it. Stuffed sweet potato with a side of guacamole, black beans, parmesan, and corn. Mm. Oh. My hair is really greasy, but anyway, we're gonna move past that. So last night I didn't do the meal right. Well, everyone else was having like stuffed chicken, and I was like, I'm not gonna have that. So yeah, I probably shouldn't have had potato, but it was sweet potato. So I kind of did that wrong. But anyway, we are moving on to today. It's a brand new day. I am so hungry. It is perfect weather for a coffee and some toast. Like, mm, a toasted sandwich. But no. Um, so I'm just having a little study break. And we're having a lunch. Uh, a lunch. We're having a salad again today for lunch. And there's probably nothing that I want less, so it's going well. I'm starving. I'm so hungry and I really don't want to sell it for lunch. Like I'm really over this, like the fasting's not fun anymore and neither is this diet. So I'm only going to do it till tomorrow, so and then I'm done. That was actually really good. We add red vinegar sauce through ours and it's mm, fire. I absolutely hate kale chips, they're disgusting. And then next up we had this miso soup. Instead of noodles, we had veggies and it was really good. I'm absolutely stoked. Today is the last day for me for the Mediterranean diet. I was only gonna always do it till Friday. I'm gonna do lunch and breakfast the same. And then as soon as it hits like afternoon vibes, I'm getting a normal dinner and yeah, just kind of, it's the weekend, so I think I'm going to stick to it and try to do a similar sort of thing throughout next week as well. Um, just because, like, on the weekends, I'm not going to limit myself, but it's been good so far. So we decided to freeze the yogurt and blueberries, and this was everything. It was fire. I highly recommend. 
Okay guys, I just had that breakfast and it was so good frozen. So if you want to try it, it's blueberries, um, Greek yogurt, and then you just freeze it overnight, like blend it and then put it in the freezer. And it tastes so much better. It's more of like an acai bowl sort of vibe. So I'm definitely going to keep doing that for breakfast. It was so yum. So it is the last day today, as you guys are well aware. I'm just about to do 12, 3, 30. If you guys haven't seen my workout video, make sure you watch it. It's honestly a piss out, like I just take the piss out of myself the whole time. So it's really fun and I show you a range of different workouts to do at home. But yeah, I'm just gonna do my treadmill routine and then I'm gonna have lunch. I'm absolutely starving, um, but I think I just need to get the workout over with and then I can eat. And then as soon as it hits three, like mm, I cannot wait for like, a, I don't wanna like overloading carbs, but I'm definitely going to. And I think, it's been a really good workout, I mean workout, it's been a really good uh, week of trying the diet because I've noticed I've, I've lost some weight, which is really good, and so has um, everyone else in the family. I think it's because I'm not snacking and I'm not having a lot of carbs, so it is a really good diet, and I think I'm going to continue, as I said before, and just kind of do it like Monday to Thursday, well, Monday to Friday, lunchtime, and then weekends I can kind of eat whatever. But obviously on the weekends, I'm not going to go, I'm going to try, I'm going to try and not have like macas or, you know, kind of undo the work that I've done throughout the week. So yeah, I'm really excited and I'm excited. I'll show you the lunch that I'm having. It's probably going to be the same, but anyway, I'll see you then. So here is the program that we've been following throughout the week. I kind of forgot to mention that we weigh all of the food that we've been eating. So we're having the right um, amount of calories every day. And obviously it's really important to drink a lot of water so you feel more full and you're not wanting to snack heaps. So that was obviously something that I really <laughs> struggled with throughout the week. Um, but the program is really, really good. And you set up your meals beforehand. So mum has been a queen and going to the shops and meal prepping for everyone. So it is really, really good, the program, and if you want to learn more about it, have a read of this website because that's where we have been doing our program, and I honestly couldn't recommend it enough. I've seen results already, and yeah, I hope everyone tries it because it's actually bomb. Okay, guys, yes, I am a machine. I just got back from a 6K walk with my cousin. It was so good, and I just did that treadmill routine before, so I think I did like 9Ks like all up. I'm not really sure how many miles I did on the treadmill, but I'm so happy. I'm also really happy that I did the two week challenge when I did, um, because now I kind of like know what workouts I really enjoyed and which ones I didn't enjoy as much. Um, and I'm really going, like, I'm just really happy that I've done this diet as well, because now I can kind of do the same. I can be like, oh yeah, I really liked that for breakfast, or I didn't like that smoothie, or maybe I'll have this with lunch instead of that. So yeah, it's been really good. And I really struggled not having a routine during ISO and these last like couple weeks I'm like okay ISO is about to end like I need to get back in and ready for real life so it's been really good and I think at the start of ISO and like even last year people would tell me like oh I've done this marathon or oh, I've walked to this or oh I eat this and I only do this and I do F45 and I'm like Ugh, whatever like shut up I don't care about your walk which is pretty much what I'm doing now but I think it, you've really just got to be motivated when you're ready and it would just t took me ages to be motivated like I wasn't and that's why I'm really glad like I've picked out fun dance um, exercises or I've kind of got like a routine now in both my diet and my fitness and I just feel so much better overall so if anyone needs help or is struggling like I was like message me and I'll message you some of the workouts that I did or just look at my YouTube video or like I'll recommend this food or I just really enjoyed doing it and I think it's really good to give it a go but then again you can only be ready when you're ready so like just don't push yourself and just kind of like go slow into it and you'll figure out what you want to do but yeah I'm just really happy because I haven't had a routine in so long like even last year I didn't have a routine because I didn't have full-time work so yeah, I'm just stoked that I have a routine now. It's been way too long. It's obviously afternoon now, so I'm gonna show you guys my homemade pizza later. And I'm still gonna try to eat healthy throughout the week, um, the weekend, just maybe like change dinners or something. But yeah, I'm very excited for my homemade pizza. I'm not gonna lie. I think it's well deserved. 
Uh, sorry, I forgot to show you my homemade pizza, but here's the smoothie that I'm having. I'm going to talk about it in a second, so I just wanted to show you guys in case you were wondering. And I'm going to talk about the peanut butter, so hang on. Um, excuse my face, I've had four hours sleep, um, and I'm, I don't know what's happening, but I just finished making my smoothie, um, and I actually, actually, I added a, two shots of coffee, my first coffee for the whole week, so I'm very excited, um, and yeah, I hope it tastes really nice. I just want to say too that, um, this diet is like, Obviously, people can have their opinions about it, but I think it's really good and I'm going to continue to do it like Monday to Friday, as I said, and just really be conscious of like the snacking. And to be honest, like, yes, you're cutting down carbs, but that's a good thing to do anyway. And obviously your body needs carbs, but have like carbs on the weekends, like treat yourself sort of then. So it's been really good and I don't want to like, I know I was very dramatic the first day. Um, but yeah, I don't want to like, people can have their opinions about it. You can try the diet. You don't have to try it, but I think it's a good insight. And at the end of the day, it's eating healthy fats. So that's what your body wants and that's what's good for you. So I think it's just finding a balance and what works for you. So let's see if this tastes nice. I hope it does. I'm going to be pissed if it's not. Okay. I thoroughly enjoy so far. It needs a bit of a mix. It's got like Okay, I really like that. Um, the peanut butter. I'm going to talk about that for a little bit. It's this natural one. It's got like, it's not sweet. It's like salt and like hazelnuts. So it's more like organic. And I'm not a big fan of any spreads. I hate Vegemite. I hate peanut butter. I hate, I don't like, I don't mind jam. Love Nutella. I'm just not big on spreads. So I'm trying to kind of if I want to have snacks have like that organic peanut butter and some celery so that's what I'm going to try I'm going to force myself to enjoy peanut butter so I'm excited to actually try the peanut butter with some snacks because apparently that's amazing and everything so I really want to try that but this is really good go me sorry I forgot to add some things in because my brain's not working um I also want to say like Obviously people are like, oh, you're just going to cut down carbs and then put it all back on. Like, yes, that's probably, that might be possible, but it depends on how you're eating. Like, obviously I'm not going to go out and eat Maccas. I'm eating a, I'm having a smoothie right now. So it depends on like what you're eating. And I think it's good to be conscious of what you're eating because it's going to, if you're feeling good, if you're exercising, you feel good, you're eating well, then overall you're going to feel better. So yeah, I just think obviously I'm not, like if I'm eating well, th sorry, there was a hair there. If I'm eating well throughout the week, I'm not just going to put three kilos back on just from two days, unless I'm eating 10 cheeseburgers then I don't even like cheeseburgers. So I would not be doing that. You know what I'm saying? I'm, you know, like I'm not going to, so yeah, just have a read of it, have a read of the website and then have your opinions on it. I think, um, there was something else I wanted to say. Oh, I also didn't add two shots of coffee. I just, the machine, I had to go chunk, chunk. So it's not two shots, it's one, but I will be bouncing off the walls when I finish this. So, so that is the end of today's vlog. Thank you so much for watching. Um, So over the weekend, I sort of obviously had like a bit of um, like carbs and stuff, but I was still sort of conscious of my snacking and tried to like remember what I've just done throughout the whole week. So it was really good and I highly recommend having a look at that website or even just ask me and I'll send you some recipes. It was really good and yeah, I'm just really happy with how I went and I'm super excited. I love trying new things and this diet was really good and I'm kind of glad now that I can like pick and choose things that I like out of it. So I think I'll keep you guys updated if you want. Um, I might do like an updated vlog or something like that maybe like on my overall fitness and like health because I like recording it because it's almost like a little diary for me um so then I guess it's a fun way we can all sort of see how I'm going and you guys can keep up on me keep checking up on me that sort of thing so don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you for my next video thanks for watching